In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to show you a variant way to create the sci-fi transporter effect. We will not be using a green screen in this particular tutorial. I've had some people who saw the first one and said, now how do I do that without a green screen? We're going to show you. So I have two videos. One is a video with no talent in the room. I'm going to click and drag that down to track number one. And if you look at part of the video, what we have is we have the camera panning on a tripod. And then it's going to stop. And where it stops is where we're going to have our transition. It's going to focus on the gray chair behind the two wood chairs. That's where my talent is going to appear. So we have that place and I'm going to highlight the clip, press the end key to take, get to the last frame and I can use control P or I can click on the picture of the camera at the preview window. Either way will get me to this screen. I'm going to call my one frame picture. I'll just label it number one, press enter and it will bring it into my media room. I'm going to take and drag and drop it and put it right next to my video. So it's my freeze frame. If I want to change the duration of it, I highlight it and then I click on the clock. Right now I have five seconds. That will be the duration of my transporter effect. You can make it smaller or greater depending on what you want to do. But it should be this for both clips. Now I'm going to take my clip two with my talent in it. And if we play it, you're going to see he's sitting in the chair and looking at the camera, then he gets up and leaves. So what I like to do is go to the first frame of this one, press the home key when it's highlighted. I'll do control P to get to the same thing and I'll call this snapshot number two. And it will bring it and put it in the media room. Now what I want to do is take that and put it on track two. And I want to place it at the same time as I have the original one. Then I'll take the rest of video two and butt it up against there. So we'll have a five second freeze where we have this effect and then the motion will continue. Now there's something else I need to do. I'm going to go to track number two and with it highlighted, the still frame, I'm going to click on my tools button above the timeline and choose my mask designer. Now I'm going to create a mask that's going to be useful for the effect but I need to create it here so I can see my talent. So I'm going to click on the create a painted mask. And the nice thing about this is you don't have to be super precise. Wherever you use this mask, it's going to be applied to the area where you see the, the lines come down, the transporter kind of electronic signature. So I could actually go way away from him if I wanted to. I can do the chair. I can have it on his body, slightly beyond his body. I'm going to do something kind of like this. And so you'll see some of these effects here. Now I could take the whole chair and include it in the effect if I want to. I could include above his head or to the right. You can make it kind of what you think would look good. I'm just going to make it like this for now. That should be enough. We don't have to be super precise. Make sure we cover him and then maybe a little more. So I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to turn the effect off for this particular picture. So I'm going to turn it X. Okay, it's off. I'll click on OK. So there is no effect on it. Why did I do that? Because I do want an effect on the particle. So I'm going to take the particle that I created in the last tutorial and I'm going to go to my custom ones and I have one called a rain transport. And I'll take that particle and drag it to a higher number track. And if I play it as it is right now, you're going to see the particle is everywhere. Now I could, I, I could make the particle that wide and larger than my talent if I want to, but if I want to con confine it to the talent, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take that particle, we'll give ourselves some more room to see, 
click on the particle, click on the tools, click on the mask designer. Now I'm going to use the mask I just created. And the one I created just now is the one over here. Uh, this is a precise one I used earlier in an example. This is the more general one. We'll click on that, try it, and I'll click on OK. So I've applied the, the mask not to the image. I got it from the image, but I didn't apply it. I'm applying it to the particle. So if I apply, apply it to the particle and we play this, all of a sudden we find that the mask fills him. And a little bit more, you notice where it's going. So you, again, you can make that wherever you want on the screen. So we need to do something else. We have him here. We need to take the track number two where my talent is, and we need to change the opacity of that one. So I'm going to double click on it, and that will take me to my PIP designer. I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning and click the uh, diamond in the opacity value. And we're going to change that down to maybe we'll even start out maybe 9%. And we'll go to the very end. And we'll make it 100%. And if I want to make it vary, let's, let's go here and we're going to crank this up. So it's near 100 at the beginning. And maybe at the beginning, a little ways in, it goes up a little more dramatically to start with. You can adjust it any way you like. And click on OK. So you see I have the opacity keyframes here that we see in this section. And you can hold the con control key down and add more keyframes and modify it any way you want. Let's see what it looks like so far. So here we have, he's not there, and then he begins to come in. And then we have the effect around his body. And then we have the final. Now you notice there's a bit of a jerk at the end here. This is because I actually moved my camera ever so slightly. So that's something you want to make sure you don't do. But I don't have the chance to go back and refilm it. So that's one of my goofs. Okay, now we need to add a couple more things. We need to add some other things from the media room. I have here a sound that I'm going to apply, just a general audio track. And I'm going to take that and put that down on track four. This is just background, and I'm going to make it softer. And then what we'll do is we'll add a sound effect to the transport itself. I've got one I created in the last video. We show you how to do that. And then the other video, we also showed you how I made the rain transport. So we'll make it end. The sound will end when the transport's done. Looks like it fades out a bit. I'll make it just a little longer there. And so now we have the effect of the transporter. We have some background. And let's go ahead and back it up just a little bit. And I'll magnify what we see. And let's play it and see what we get. OK, we've panned to the chair. Now we're in the frozen section. We have the sound and the effect coming in. And then we get back to live action. And he gets up and he moves. So that's basically how you can do this without using any green screen whatsoever.